guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing another versus video, and this time we've got the Beretta versus the Sig, two very popular, very well-known, very widely used pistols slash sidearms. So today I'm just going to go over both of these pistols, go over some of my likes and dislikes, some of the features, all that different type of stuff, and then at the end, let us know down in the comment section below which one you would choose and why and all that. So let's go ahead and start off with the Beretta, and both of these pistols are safe and empty. But the Beretta M9, and this one actually is the M9 version. I know the 92FS is very similar, uh, so you'll count that one in as well. But this one is the M9, and this one, up until recently, is or has been the official sidearm of our U.S. military. So it's seen lots of use, uh, been put through the tests, and survived, and been an excellent pistol. So it is overall a, a very, very good pistol. And even in my experiences, having this thing for X amount of years, it's been 100% and uh, you know, really, really great pistol. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and talk about some of the key features that people look at most when they, uh, they're going to buy a pistol or a sidearm or whatever. And we'll start off with the ergonomics. Now, this is a, a pretty big gun, pretty wide gun. And I do have smaller hands. I wear a size medium gloves just to give you guys sort of a perspective on uh, on you know how my hand is on here and my opinions and all that but the Beretta is very chunky and very big in the grip but it still is a very comfortable gun and I can get a good grip on it even with my smaller sized hands so overall I think in my opinion the Beretta is a very ergonomic gun just a little bit big for my taste but it does have removable side panels you can put thinner ones on to kind of help with that but overall very ergonomic gun it doesn't have a lot of uh, like serrations and, and checkering and all that different type of stuff to keep it planted in your hands. We do just have straight line serrations on both the front and the back. Uh, I haven't really ran into any issues with it wanting to get slippery in my hands. Uh, you know, I would like to see a little more checkering, I guess, but overall it works, works out okay. And now while we're talking about the grip, it does come standard with 15 round magazines. And again, in my opinion, the 15 rounds in a full-size service pistol is kind of lacking compared to what else is out there on the market. You now you can get you know extended magazines. I think the the M9A3 comes with 17 rounders, and I think you can get some other options from Metgar and stuff. So you can get more, but the standard magazine is uh, 15 rounds, and in my opinion, that's a little bit lacking for a full-size uh, you know service pistol and all that. So a little bit lacking there. Um, moving up, and another big important thing that people look at when they're picking up a gun is how is the trigger, is it good, is it bad, all that stuff. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at that now. This is double action, single action, so your first pull is going to be long and heavy. It is about a 10 pound pull, but it is nice and smooth, really no staging or grittiness, but a very nice smooth pull at about 10 pounds. So, double action is pretty good. Single action, you're going to have your take up, you're going to hit a wall and then a nice light break. Again, very smooth, very crisp. And then the reset, I don't know how well that's gonna pick that up on the cameras, but the double action's nice, the single action's nice, but the reset, and I'll try to show you guys that again. I think I picked it up better that time. The reset is a, is, a, is a little crunchy, I guess you could say. It almost has to go through that entire crunch before it's actually reset. Sometimes when you first start to hear it and feel it and you try to pull the trigger again, it's not quite there yet. So the reset is a little bit lacking, but overall, pretty good trigger in the M9. So now that we got the hammer back, let's go ahead and talk about one of the things that I really don't care for on the Berettas, and that is the safety slash decocker up here on the slide. So we got it cocked back, we're ready to shoot and say we're ready to holster it. So we're gonna take, push this lever down, safely decock it, and now the gun is on safe. So we do have a dead trigger, and then you just push it back up, we're back in double action mode. I don't care for it being up on the slide. Uh, it's just kind of in a, in a bad position, in my opinion. And one of the reasons why is, and I've done this many times out of the range, when you come over the top to run the gun after you put a fresh mag in or whatever, when you run it and you pull it back, that kicks that safety off from time to time. And when you kick that safety off, you have a dead trigger. So if you're in a bad situation, pop a mag in, rack the gun, you need to get back to whatever you were doing, and you just render the gun worthless and you got to kick it back 
off of safe to get back into it. And if you are in a bad situation, then seconds count and you know that could be a very bad day for you if you go back out and you got a dead trigger. So don't really care much for the, uh, the safety on this thing. Uh, the sights on this actually aren't too bad. I mean, I can use them really well on here. We do have a dot in the back and a dot on the front. You just kind of line them up, kind of like a straight eight sight, and they, they work out pretty well. Um, but, but one thing I don't like about it is the front sight is actually built into the slide. So, you know, no changing it out, no doing anything different. You're just kind of stuck with the front. The rear is dovetailed in, so you can change that out. Uh, for something different, but you're stuck with the front. If you want something different, you'll just have to put some paint on it to make it a different color, like an orange for a high-vis site or whatever. But the sights work well. Uh, you know, I can use them really well, but uh, it is kind of lacking because you're kind of stuck with what you get shipped. Um, so sights are good, but I'd rather see a dovetailed front so you could change them out to whatever you want. And talking about the sights, let's go ahead and talk about the accuracy of this, at least in my opinion and the way I can shoot it. I am very accurate with the Beretta M9. It's just a very nice shooting, very smooth shooting, very accurate gun. And uh, <laughs> it makes me look like a better shooter than I really am. And uh, one more thing that I do want to note about the M9 before I forget is just how smooth the action is on these Berettas. And I don't know what it is, but they have some of the smoothest actions on these things that I have ever felt. And uh, yeah, just overall, very, very nice uh, full-size service pistol and very fun at the range, good home defense gun, all that. Just overall, really, really great gun. So now let's move over to the SIG. And this one is a 229 Legion. And, uh, you know, this I'm not comparing this one to that one. I'm more or less SIG in general to the Beretta in general. So any of any SIGs will pretty much be the same as this. This has a few differences, but just SIG in general. But this one is the 229 Legion. So we'll just go ahead and start off just like we did with the Beretta with the ergonomics. And this one here does have the nice G10 checkered grips on it. Uh, so it does give it a lot of grip in your hands. Now they come with different ones. You can get the standard plastic, you can get the E2 grips. And uh, so you have a lot of different options, but again, you can change them out to whatever you want. But this one has the G10 checkered grips on it and it does stick in your hand very well. Uh, the Legion does have extra checkering here on the front strap and overall it just it sticks in your hand very well with this combination and uh, the, you know, the 229 or the 226 in my opinion is a very ergonomic gun definitely definitely more ergonomic than the Beretta in my opinion but uh, but yeah very ergonomic grip has a nice beaver tail on it uh, they can be varying in size depending on what model you have but the beaver tail is nice it does just stick in your hand very well very ergonomic gun uh, moving up to the trigger on this one. Now, again, this is the Legion, so it does have a, uh, a tuned up trigger in it. It has a Grey Guns trigger, but the double action, again, is going to be longer and heavier. And normally on a SIG, it's in that 10 pound range, but this one actually is a little lighter at about nine and a half. So overall, very smooth and uh, you know crisp double action. Single action on this one, you're going to get you know, you're going to have your take up, hit a wall, nice, light, four to four and a half pound break. And where this thing really shines and where most SIGs shine is that SRT trigger or short reset trigger right there. That's all the movement you got. And then you're ready to fire again. So the Grey Guns trigger is just a little bit above the standard SIG trigger, but just the standard even is an excellent double single action trigger. Probably the best that I've ever felt in, in the experience that I have with all the different double single action guns. So very, very nice trigger. And again, in my opinion, the trigger on this is much better than the Beretta. Uh, let's see, let's go on to the sights. Now again, this one is the Legion, so it has different sights on it, but you are going to have a three dot night sight set up and the difference between this and the standard is the Legion has a high vis front. You can see the green up there, but on your standard SIGs, if you get the SIG lights, it's just going to be, you know, white dots all the way around your tritium and stuff. And, and again, those are excellent as well. And the SIG light night sights are probably some of the brightest that I've ever used, you know, very closely behind probably my Trigicon HDs that I got on my Glocks and stuff. But the SIG lights are, are excellent sights. It has a nice ledge for one handed manipulations. And again, it, they just they glow bright uh, in, in the nighttime. So very excellent sights on the on the SIG. And again, the SIGs I think are better than the Berettas. Uh, let's see. Okay, the controls on this much better 
on this one. So say you're cocked back, you're ready to fire, but now you need to holster. You got your uh, decocker right here. You just push it down, safely decock it. And then back here, you've got your slide release. So I much prefer it on the frame than I do on the slide like the Beretta is. Uh, the SIG controls like on this one or any of them that I've used, I, I really do like them. They're probably the best double single action controls that, again that I've used on double single action guns. So the controls, you know, great. I, I really do love them. Uh, I guess we've missed the capacity and again, the 229 is the smaller compact version and it does come with 15 rounds, same as the Beretta, but when you jump up to the 226, it stays the same, 15 round magazine. So again, the 226 for a full size service pistol, in my opinion, is kind of lacking in the uh, in the ammo department, in the capacity department, but you can get you know extended magazines, you can get 17 or 18 round magazines. I think the TAC Ops version of the 226 comes with 20 round magazines. So out of the box, the 229 up to par, 226 M9 definitely lacking in the capacity department, but you can get uh, bigger extended magazines for it. Um, we talked about the smoothness of the uh, of the action on the uh, Beretta, but the SIG, again, it, it's no slouch. I mean, it is very smooth, uh, but in my opinion, nowhere near as smooth as the Beretta M9. Um, accuracy on the SIG, again, it's more accurate than I could ever be with it, but as far as shooting either this 229 or my old 226, uh, I can be very accurate with them, but again, I'm, I'm way more accurate with the M9, so it definitely wins there. Uh, but anyhow, guys, that's sort of some key features of both of them, some of my likes and dislikes of each one of them. So I guess the big question is, if I had to choose, if someone sat me down and said, I'm taking one of them away from you, which one are you keeping? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the SIG. I just I really do like SIG handguns, the 229, 226, it doesn't matter. I just, I, I love these guns. They're probably my favorite double single actions. But again, the Beretta M9 is no slouch and I would have no problem keeping this as well. So if it was a perfect world and I wasn't in that scenario, I would choose C, all of the above. I'm keeping both. Both excellent, excellent uh, handguns, very proven handguns, widely used, all that. So, uh, so yeah, but if I had to choose, I'm taking the SIG. So definitely let us know down in the comment section below which one you would choose and why. Uh, I know a lot of you military guys out there who probably carried one of these things around. Uh, you might like it because of that, or I guess you might dislike it because of that. Um, and then SIGs, again, widely used by a lot of different people as well. So definitely let us know which one you like and why. But anyhow guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but before you take off, make sure you check the description box down below. I do have links to my channel sponsors. We got Southeast Traders and my local gun shop, Shots and Shells. Definitely go over there, show them guys some love because they do a lot to help out the channel. And also you're gonna see a new link down there that you probably haven't seen before. And uh, I've teamed up with a new company, Arms Unlimited, and I do have an affiliates link down there. So if you click that link, go over there, browse around on the website, it will help out the channel. But they offer, you know, they have guns, they have accessories, they have all different types of stuff gun related so definitely go over there check them out you know they got a big selection really good prices and again use the link down below because it will help out the channel uh, but anyhow guys again i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one